I hope the examples convinced you that we need a sophisticated management of supply chains. So, as I told you, you will have a full course on supply chain management. So we here just dive into a definition of supply chain management to get it more precise, that you have a first understanding. Uh, let's have a look at this definition. The goal of supply chain management is to increase the competitiveness of the supply chain. And in the context of supply chains, we achieve this by a better integration and a better coordination of our different flows. And based on our previous discussion, we can now define supply chain management in the following way. Supply chain management is the task of integrating organizational units along a supply chain and coordinating material information and financial flows to fulfill the ultimate customer's demands with the aim of improving competitiveness of the supply chain as a whole. When we improve the supply competitiveness of a supply chain as a whole, it does not automatically mean that the position of each company that is part of an organizational of, of a supply chain is improved in the short term. Yeah. We try to look at the whole supply chain and this might, at least in the short run, result in negative effects for individual companies that are part of the supply chain. We are not only looking at companies, we are writing here organizational units, which is a little bit more general than just a company. Organizational units can also include non-profit organizations or government organizations, for example. And the supply chain is looking at the ultimate customer's demands and they want to improve the competitiveness of the supply chain as a whole. Where well, you see good examples of supply chains and how they compete with each other is in the automotive industry. Uh, the supply chain of Mercedes-Benz uh, consists of many suppliers all around the world. And of course, so Mercedes-Benz as a big company has, has a strong impact on their suppliers. But in the end, the suppliers are still independent companies. So there needs to be an incentive to join such a supply chain. Mercedes-Benz cannot just force these independent companies uh, to follow their production wishes. And although what is true in the automotive industry is that the supplier of Mercedes-Benz might be at the same time a supplier to Porsche or Audi or Lexus, for example. Though these suppliers you know, are not only limited to a single brand, they usually supply their products to different brands. Though the different supply chains following different brands are somewhat in competition all the time, and all the, the incentives, all the the effort to produce to increase the production efficiency and effectiveness look at the final customer you know, to fulfill the cus final customer's demand if you're not interested in buying a mercedes uh, the whole supply chain will collapse now let's have a short really a short overview of the house of supply chain management uh, this little house this little drawing uh, is called the House of Supply Chain Management. And in this little drawing, uh, the building blocks of the supply chain and of the management of the supply chain are highlighted in a nice way. Uh, the overall goal is to increase the competitiveness of a supply chain. Usually we achieve this by improving the customer service. And now there are two ways how to improve competitiveness and customer service on the one hand by a better integration. Integration involves 
choice of our partners, the choice of our suppliers, how we manage our network organization, how we collaborate, how we work together with these partners, and on leadership. Yeah, leadership, of course, you need leadership inside a company, but you also need leadership for a whole supply chain, and it might be different because we are talking to legally independent companies. On the other hand, we try to achieve a better competitiveness and co customer service by a better coordination of the activities. We try to achieve this better coordination by using more and more comprehensive information, uh, sharing this through our information system. We have a clear process orientation, as you know from the basics in production. We talked about this process orientation and we make use of advanced planning techniques. Advanced planning techniques uh, include using of simulation models to understand the problems and optimization mo models to make decisions. Uh, and all this is based on the foundations uh, of core logistics activities, transport warehousing for example, marketing activities, Operations research, in particular the advanced planning, yeah, it's based on operations research. Operations research is applied mathematics to uh, come up with more or less automated decision making or decision support systems. The basics of operations research are also taught to you in our decision theory course and in semester number three you have a course on operations research. In semester number six, you can choose an elective on operations research. And operations research is, for this discussion that we are having here, also a prerequisite for the supply chain management course. So pay attention in this course. Of course, organizational theory um, goes into supply chain management. Our purchasing and supply decisions go into supply chain management. We also have a course on procurement. So you see how all these courses in your logistics program at Geotech are supporting the goal of a better supply chain management. And this is not only left to a single course, uh, but to improve supply chain management is based on several decisions, knowledge in different areas, skills in different areas that all work together, together yeah, like this network of activities. Now let's go to the real world and have a look at some real world cases. I decided to support these real world cases with some newspaper articles from the Financial Times where they discuss some issues in global supply chains that happened in the recent weeks. Uh, you find these three articles that I uploaded to Moodle. Um, the first one is about the new Suez crisis a global economy cracking under the strain. Uh, this happened when the Suez Canal was blocked by a big container ship and this crucial transportation route was blocked. Yeah? You see how a transportation problem affected the supply chains of many, many companies all around the world. And then we have two other articles that are related to a chip crisis uh, you know, um, some computer chips uh, cannot be produced at the moment at the rate or the demand implies. So this has an impact on many, many different industries. And this is a clear uh, global supply chain issue. So I would like you to read these articles. I'm sure you already read them. And... Then we will have some questions. I will open some questions on Moodle so that you can check your understanding of the articles. And it's really important that you, um, that you try to read and understand the article yourself. Uh, this also checks your ability in reading and understanding more complex business communication, so it's also a practice in communication, and try to avoid 
just copy pasting the article to some translator and translate it in Arabic when you're doing this and when you have to do this to understand the articles then actually it means um, your level of English is not yet on the level it should be and probably this will also not really help you in learning and understanding so try to go through the article yourself and try to understand the article yourself and I will open some uh, self-study questions where you can make a checkup in what you understood from selected articles okay so now let's sum up we introduced the concept of supply chains we have external suppliers now we introduced the several tiers of suppliers we have external customers and we have internal procedures that all play together in defining what a supply chain is we introduced definitions for a supply chain and for the management of supply chains you learned from the house of supply chain management in our discussion about supply chains that the main building blocks are integration and coordination and you're familiar with some real world examples some real world case studies that show you how important the management of supply chains is for our modern economy